welcome back to pxp channel in the last episode we uh, set up the flutter environment and ran the application that was auto generated in this episode we will build a very basic hello world kind of an application just to concrete our understanding of flutter so let's get started here is the blank project that we created and then let me paste uh, this run app fu function within the main method and then uh, let me create uh, the class uh, PXP form which will extend the stateless um, widget. Yeah, here it is. And then let's override the um, build method here. And uh, that these two lines are boilerplate code. Uh, I'm deleting those lines. And then uh, here I'll return a scaffold uh, widget and uh, scaffold uh, widget takes a couple of uh, arguments. Let's uh, pass those arguments uh, to scaffold. Uh, it takes uh, an app bar. App bar is uh, another widget which uh, scaffold takes, and then um, it, it this app bar also takes a couple of uh, arguments. The, um, we will uh, add those, pass those arguments. Yeah, first one will be uh, a uh, icon button. This is going to be a menu uh, button. And tooltip is, um, let's add some tooltip. Um, I am saying uh, PXP channel, uh, you can add anything. Some meaningful name and then uh, unpressed action. We will add uh, uh, an action here. Uh, for the timing, let me say that uh, icon button. Uh, uh, there will be another um, method that I will be generating later. So you see the, um, you know, uh, we, the error will go away once we create the function. And within scaffold, it takes another argument uh, that is called title. We will pass um, a text widget to this argument and within text widget we will uh, again uh, pass a text uh, or you can say string and uh, we will name it as pxp channel and uh, the last argument will be actions here uh, we will um, create another button and it is going to be a, a search button we will also add unpressed um, action here uh, as well as a tooltip. So uh, we can add anything here. Um, for the timing, let's say that it is a search button. So, and then unpressed action, let's add unpressed action. Um, let, let me name it as underscore icon search. I have not created this method yet, but uh, I will create in a while. Yeah, within the um, body, we will uh, display some message. Um, let me create a, a widget. Uh, this time it is a center widget uh, that will be contained within the body. And uh, let's create another uh, child widget. And this child widget will be a, a text widget. Within this text widget, uh, we will say hello world. Let's pass that text or um, okay let me tell uh, say that welcome to pxp channel okay at the end we will create uh, another button uh, and this type of the button will be floating action button and we will also add uh, unpress action here as usual, uh, we are adding some tooltip. And we are saying that it's a add button. And within uh, child widget, uh, we will say that uh, it is going to be a icon uh, and the button type will be add button. Right, and then unpressed action will be another method which we will define a little later. 
so let's name it as icon underscore icon add uh, that's it uh, let let us go ahead and create uh, all those three uh, methods that we have um, defined for um, unpressed actions of all those three buttons so the first one is underscore icon uh, button um, this is going to be a simple uh, method uh, let let's print to the console uh, once uh, this uh, you know uh, this button is pressed we will print a message to the console uh, let's um, print a, a very simple message saying that icon button pressed Similarly, I uh, will go ahead and create uh, two more methods void underscore icon search and this time also we will uh, print a simple message saying that uh, icon search pressed. or icon search button pressed and the last one will be underscore icon add and here also let's print um, that icon add button pressed uh, that's it our application is ready let's save it and um, run the application okay let me go to the command prompt and then uh, type in the command flutter run dash d chrome we will open the application in chrome our application is starting our application is launching in uh, Chrome. Yeah, the application is launched. And you can see, welcome to PXP channel was the text we passed in the body. And then once I pressed the menu button, uh, you see icon button pressed message is printed to the console. And similarly, I can search button pressed, I can add button pressed. So our application is running as expected. And this is the simplest application. Um, that's it for now and in the next episode we will build the actual application thank you for watching please do like share subscribe and if there are any queries suggestion um, then please do let me know in the comment section thank you